Hey guys, this is gonna be a, a pretty short video. It's gonna be real simple. It's just how I clean and cook my pompano. So check it out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna gut it real quick. And it's always nice to have a really sharp fillet knife. That makes things quite a bit easier. And then we're just gonna scoop these insides out. Just like so. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's part of it. And then in here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but down in there is a little membrane that I'd like to cut open with my fillet knife. And it'll let out a bunch of blood. I like to get that out of there before I cook it. And then you just gotta rinse the insides out for a while. All right, and now once you got that all taken care of, this fish is pretty much done. Um, if you're gonna grill it or uh, throw it in the pan and cook it whole, there's really nothing else to it. Um, all you may wanna do is put a couple slits down the side like so on each side. And there is nothing else that needs to be done to cook that pompano. Just those two slits right there. And that one is done. That's that's all I'm gonna do to this one. Um, all right, now, there's a lot, of, a lot of meat up in this head area. So if you, if you can, try to, try to get as much as that out of there as possible. And make sure that fillet knife's sharp because that's gonna make this job so much easier. And just work your way down around that fin there and you're going to come back here you're not going to push super hard or you'll go on the wrong side of the spine let your let your knife find that sweet spot and then just run it right down the spine not not a whole lot to it pretty pretty simple hopefully you can hear me over the lawnmower Nobody's mowed their yard over here in months, and I guess my neighbor decided me being out here doing this is a good time to good time to mow. But I'll just go back through and open that fillet and run your knife back through there just to loosen everything up as much as possible. And then what I do, I will come through the fillet. and run up the length of the fish here. Didn't get my knife quite down as far as I should have there, but that's all right. We're not really losing much meat there anyway. I'm gonna try to salvage as much of this meat up here off the head as I can. And just like that, that fillet is off. Set it down there. And then you flip it around and you repeat this process. As you can see, that fish is pretty, pretty skinny now. Not much left on him. All right, start off with another whole pompano. Get up in that head meat area. I didn't quite get down there far enough. But that's all right it, it's it's not a ton of meat i just try to get as much as i can off of there now to do this you're gonna take a finger push down nice long easy strokes i had to get rid of my dog for a second there he wanted to bark at the neighbors but yeah, just you can't put a ton of pressure on here. The skin is super fragile. Um, I'm, I'm not going to have a perfectly clean fillet here. 
not bad though. I've got just a little bit there. And you're gonna throw that skin to the side. You're gonna to wanna to find this back rib area right here. Because if you feed somebody that's never ate pompano before, and you wanna feed them a bunch of bony fish, you'll turn them off. And then what I do, I just cut it into a few pieces. Some people are bothered by that bloodline. It doesn't bother me, but if you're gonna give it to somebody, you may consider cutting that off. Like I said, it doesn't bother me none, so I'm only gonna cut that one off to show you what to do. And then you just grab the other side, wash, rinse, and repeat. All right, that is the three ways I typically clean my pompano. I, I usually don't don't fry them for the most part, but some people like fried fish. If that's what they want, that's what I'm gonna give them. Um, but if it's up to me, I like to grill them or just throw them in a pan with a little bit of butter. I don't put a whole lot of, lot of seasoning on them. Maybe some Old Bay, but we will get into that in just here in a minute. All right, the first thing I like to do is make sure I dry the outsides off really well with paper towel, and I'll even kind of dry the cavity here inside I'll I'll dry that out a little bit just to keep it from popping from the water inside the pan next step butter add lots of butter to cook the pompano in and I keep it pretty simple just some garlic powder I like garlic so I'm pretty pretty generous with this if you don't like garlic you don't have to add it and then next a little bit of Old Bay I am an old bay fan for sure, so I'm pretty generous with this too. And that's what we got. And then we will just kind of stir that into the butter like so. And then the next part, you drop your whole pompano in there. He's a little big for the pan, but that's all right. He'll still cook up just fine. Um, don't don't really have a specific time frame as long as I cook them. Um, I just kind of keep a watch on them and try not to undercook them or overcook them. And right before we flip this dude over, I'm going to rub some more butter on this side just to keep it from sticking any. Alright, we got it flipped over, but since it's kind of a big pompano for this pan, I'm going to go ahead and put a lid here on it to keep some of that heat trapped in to make sure this back part that's not really touching the, the pan make sure it gets cooked as well. All right, I believe the pompano is done. I'm gonna flip it one more time just to double check. Looking nice and done. We'll let that sit there just for one more minute. And then we're gonna add a little shrimp in here too to go, to go with it. All right, everything is done, so we're gonna get it out of the pan here, onto the plate. Get the shrimp scooped out of here. And there it is. I'm sure some of you are capable of making it look a lot prettier than I am, but that's how most of mine look, and they taste just fine, so I don't get too worried about it. All right, that's gonna wrap up the video. I'm not gonna show you me eating the pompano. It was graphic, it was it was up in my hair and in my eyebrows, but no, no it wasn't that bad. But uh, until next time, I'll see you later.